Hello! Welcome to another episode of How Do I Use My New Wave Pool. Uh, this one, we're going to talk about what is a temporal filter. <clears throat> so the temporal filter is its basically another tap into the feedback line, but you can't really do anything with it other than just slightly amplify like the brightness and saturation of it. Um, so that's what it means in the signal flow, but how you actually apply it, there's a lot of really crazy things you can do. So I'm going to show you one right now. I'm going to dial down mix into negative mode and change the hue slightly, turn the hue down a little bit, and then slowly turn up the temporal filter. So you can see just by doing this smooth blending with the previous frame that it sort of smooths things out a little bit where it was strobing kind of heavily before, it stopped. Now let me see what happens when I turn the delay time down a little bit. <laughs> and then we just immediately see the another another level of like reaction diffusion things happening. Now turn up the temporal filter resonance to the max and crank up the temporal filter a little bit more. And we can kind of see these details coming in. And now that I have them set, I'm gonna start moving around the hue knob see how that changes the patterns happening in here. This is me turning Q all the way up and then dialing it down slightly. And if you turn the temporal filter knob all the way up, it freezes you in this sort of like painterly reaction diffusion line where there's a slight differencing happening from the input. So the input is still affecting things, but in a really, really different kind of way. And as I turn up and down the resonance, you can do different stuff with this painter mode. Turning down the resonance. I turn it back up, turn it down, turn it back up. change the delay so it's a little bit slower. Um, when you're playing with the temporal filter, you can slow the delay down on quite a lot and it'll grab on to different aspects and feedback in very different ways. Let's see what happens when I turn off negative mix. Now this is positive mix. I'm getting a lot of yellows happening. Let me just play around with the temporal filter knob and with the brightness knob back and forth and we can see sort of the delay feedback, how it's creeping in slowly. Let me turn the delay back down to one frame and turn off the temporal filter for a second. You can also mix the temporal filter backwards. You can do an inverted, inverted uh, temporal filtering. And this has a tendency to go really stroby and glitchy, so if you're interested in more aggressive strobing glitch style stuff, this is a pretty good mode for you. Unfortunately, I couldn't put another temporal filter in here to like smooth it out at all. <laughs> Which, um, if you're interested in that sort of thing, you should check out my desktop uh, video uh, delay software, Video Waves, which has four taps of delay that you can do all sorts of crazy stuff with. But yeah, so there's just one more knob that's not really worth like spending too much time on. All the way to the right, this is just sort of a brightness boost. It allows you to kind of like turn up, crank up the brightness a bit of the input if you're just having difficulty finding the right spot to like luma key something in. Uh, this can be very helpful because it just is a little tiny little brightness boost. It does some distortion as well, but hey, distortion is kind of like the most fun thing about this setup, so just embrace it, I guess. <laughs> cool. So 
that's it for what the heck is a temporal filter. Um, next time we will be able to, since we've covered all of these, then I can show you what's going on with XYZ displacement. That should be fun. Here's a little sneak preview of XYZ displacement. Yeah, awesome stuff. Okay, uh, thanks a lot and have fun.